Hey yo, Paul as well, it's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to another video. So today in this video, we're gonna be comparing the OnePlus Nord N30 against the Samsung Galaxy A15 5G. But if you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new, but if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So one of the things I like about the OnePlus Nord N30 is that it does have a brick inside of the box that can charge at 50 watts, getting you up to 81% in a half hour. So it does come with the 50 watt brick. It does also come with the cable included in the packaging as well. Now, when it comes to the Samsung, it's not giving you um, the same features that it would give you on the OnePlus. You're getting 25 watts fast charging but you're not you're getting the um, cable inside here, but not the brick and the 25 watts fast charging gets you up to 51 percent in about a half hour. So you're definitely getting faster charging speeds on the OnePlus Nord N30. Now, when it comes to the overall bodies, you do get a glossy material on the OnePlus Nord N30. And you can see that right here. It's going to gather all your fingerprints, just like how the front of the display would maybe even worse so you know you will need to have a case on this device at all times when you're using it just so you don't get that you know those smudges on there it comes to the samsung it's giving you the it still gets fingerprints on there as you can see in oils but not as many fingerprints as it would with the oneplus because it's got more of a matte finish now looking at the sides on both of these devices you're going to notice the fingerprint is in the same location, but you also do get the VARM rockers that are going to be situated at the top of the fingerprint on the one um, on the Samsung right here. So you can see the volume rocker right there. And then, you know, the, there's no nothing else on the one plus when it comes to there. Now you do see on the back of each uh, phone, you do get some pretty decent looking cameras on the back of here. So we're going to jump into that because I know you guys are interested in the cameras on both of these devices. And so, yeah, they're both going to be giving you some pretty decent cameras. Now, on the back of the OnePlus Nord N30, it's going to be giving you a 108 megapixel camera, which is crazy. And then on the Samsung, it's giving you a 50 megapixel camera. And then you get a 2 megapixel portrait on the OnePlus and a 5 megapixel wide angle on the Samsung um, and then they both have two megapixel macro cameras as well. And then you get 16 megapixel uh, dedicated selfie camera on the front of the OnePlus and a 13 megapixel camera on the front of the Samsung. So I just wanted to throw that out there. And then at the top, you do get a microphone at the top of both these devices. So um, I, I'm trying to show you a good uh, look at that. So you do get the microphone at the top with the rounded edge, which is really nice. And you do get a bigger display on the OnePlus is 6.7 inch versus a 6.5 inch on the Samsung. So I just want to mention that, but you know, you, you can see the difference right here. They both look really gorgeous when it comes to the flat edge, the, the, where the fingerprint is on the Samsung, it is lifted up a little bit more. And then on the right side of the Samsung, there's nothing except for the SIM card remover slot. But they put the volume buttons on the left side of the OnePlus, which is kind of cool because it's on a different side. So I kind of like how it's on a completely different side on the OnePlus, which is really nice. And so um, you do get your expansion of your storage on both of these devices up to two terabytes. Then on the bottom of the both of these devices, you're going to get a headphone jack along with the Type-C cable and a speaker on there, as well as a noise cancellation microphone but if you're still here just type down in the comment section i'm still here so i know you're still kicking it with me and i just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and help beat the youtube algorithm so let's just jump into a fingerprint sensor speed test testing out the fingerprint sensors on the count of one, three one two three let's do that one more time i gotta get it right this time one two three that was close one more time one two three that was a tie one two three 
All right, I think it's a tie when it comes to the fingerprint sensors. Now let's go into the closing all the apps and putting the displays at full brightness, which they are, and then jumping into a few different apps. So let's go to YouTube, one, two, three. Wow, that was like really close. Let's go into the Bible app, one, two, three. Okay, Samsung got that one. Let's go into uh, AliExpress, one, two, three. That looked like the Samsung. Let's go into Spotify on the count of three uh, right now, one, two, three. That was the one plus. That was definitely the one plus. Let's go into Kindle. Uh, let me see. One, two, three. It keeps going back and forth. That was the Samsung. So real crazy. Let's test out the gaming performance next. But, you know, obviously the faster charging speeds is going to go to the one plus with the 50 watt. Uh, fast charging and brick that they also do include um, the the overall displays are nice you get a uh, AMOLED super AMOLED display on the um, Samsung with the 6.5 inch and then a 6.75 inch on this guy right here the one plus and then they're both gonna have 396 in per pixels per inch but slightly higher density when it comes to um, you know the 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 uh, it's going to be real close, but it's almost the same, um, you know, amount of pixels per inch on both of these devices and resolution. The only thing is that the OnePlus is a little bit taller and stuff like that. But they're both they both have the same amount of bezel to chin ratio. I do actually like the punch hole cut out a little bit better when it comes to using the, the OnePlus because that punch hole cut out is very nice. Now, when it comes to screen resolution, watching videos, the Samsung shines with the 1440p60 versus the 1080p60 on the OnePlus. So that means you're going to get higher resolution when it comes to videos on the Samsung because it's going to manage to brighten the colors and detail and just give you a better look. So let's go ahead and test them out at the same time. And you know, they're both really gorgeous displays. Obviously you can see right here. Um, let me get that. Um, I'm going to expand the displays on both of these. The colors are actually very vivid as well. So, um, slightly brighter on the Samsung I'm noticing with the super AMOLED display, but, um, you can see the, it's very close, but you can obviously see the richer colors on the Samsung. The OnePlus still managed to hold its own with that beautiful, um, you know, panel that that punch hole looks especially um, beautiful. It has a slightly bigger display, but the Samsung looks a little bit brighter when it comes to the colors. But the OnePlus is like right there and it's very close. So it's hard to really see any differences if you were not looking at both of them at the same time, but I am looking at them at the same time. And I'm noticing that the Samsung has a slightly brighter, um, bright, like when the lightest light on the Samsung is definitely lighter than the lightest light on the one plus. And then also the detail on the Samsung is a little bit more fulfilling than it is on the, um, one plus device. Now, as far as the graphics on the Samsung, it goes up to smooth and ultra. It's rocking the Snapdragon Dragon 695 on this device. So let's go ahead and test out some of the gameplay. We do get a 90 hertz refresh rate on here. And we're rocking the Mali uh, GPU. It's only got a single firing speaker. So it's only got a single firing speaker, which is easier to cover up. I'm noticing, but the gameplay on here is absolutely absurd for a budget device. This is crazy. 
I, I should have seen that dude up there, but I, did, I reacted to um, it, that really delayed. I didn't, I didn't jump into position correctly. I was locked in on him. I'm not sure how to get that kill, but let's go a few more rounds. Then we'll jump into the gameplay on the one plus. So it feels very stable. I was able to get two kills right there, so a little bit of redemption. All right, so yeah, really good gameplay on the Samsung Galaxy A15 5G. Now, one thing about the OnePlus is going to have the MediaTek uh, Dimensity 6100 Plus, and they do offer a pro gaming mode on here that lets you customize the... Um, you know the basic like how you want to operate the gameplay on here so you uh, right now i'm in pro gamer mode with high refresh rate so it's basically maximizing the performance so i'm what i'm noticing right away when using the one plus compared to the samsung is that they have the same amount of graphics so maybe slightly better on the one plus with the snapdragon 695 because it has a 120 hertz refresh rate and it also does that how does have that pro gaming mode with eight gigabytes of ram and eight gigabytes of virtual memory but the samsung is only going to give you um like four gigabytes of ram with four gigabytes of virtual memory so you're going to be getting 16 gigabytes of ram altogether on the one plus versus the eight gigabytes of ram altogether on the samsung Now this is pretty cool. This the OnePlus does show you this new feature that it does have where it has the ability to cut out a photo. You can touch and hold the subject of a photo and separate it from the background to copy and save it and share it. So I think that's a really cool feature for the OnePlus. Now I did take some photos on both of these devices, as you can see right here. And when it came to the detail, both of them did a really good job. I think the Samsung has a little bit more detail, even though the OnePlus has that 108 megapixel camera, it does look really good um, on both of these devices with the 50 megapixel on the Samsung. So it's actually really close when it comes to the detail of the photos, as you can see right here, um, you know, um, based on your personal preference. Um, you know, I could definitely say that the OnePlus does a really good job. It definitely pushes the limits and kind of competes really good with the Samsung. Um, so that's going to be really close in my opinion when it comes to the cameras, but I definitely think both of these devices do record really good in with video mode. And, um, they're definitely going to have really good, um, quality on both of these cameras. Now you're getting a 50 megapixel camera on the samsung and the um 108 megapixel on the one plus but you're also getting a wide angle camera on the samsung but you don't have that on the one plus so they both have night photography as well and they both have slow motion macro cameras as well as a bunch of cool different uh, features on here but the one plus will have this really cool mode called dual video mode which is uh, kind of cool so overall, I definitely think that um, both of these devices are good. The OnePlus will have better battery because um, it has a 67 um, watt in, um, wired charging mode on here out of the box, where the Samsung only has the 25 watts, but they both have 5,000 milliamp hour batteries, but you're gonna get um, eight gigabytes of RAM with the eight of virtual on the OnePlus and only four of um, me memory on the Samsung with four virtual. They both have 128 gigabytes of ROM as well. And so um, overall, you know, really good um, performance. The AMOLED display is beautiful on the Samsung, but you get a bigger display on here with the 120 Hertz refresh versus 90 on here. But the main thing that most people would want to know is how is the updates? And then, so just to answer that question, 
the Samsung will get, you know, a lot more OS updates than the OnePlus device will. So overall, the Samsung is going to be better when it comes to a long term device. But the OnePlus does a really good job. I definitely think it sounds really good when it comes to the audio, when it comes to um, the charging and when it comes to the overall performance, the OnePlus is a, a little bit better, but the Samsung will have better OS updates and it will be, have, um, you know, uh, a better display. So those are the two main things going for the Samsung. But hopefully you guys did find this video helpful. If you're still here, just type down below in the comment section. I'm still here, so I know you're still kicking it with me. And I just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and I'll hit you back. I'll check you guys later. Peace.